You know, it's been pretty quiet lately. A little too quiet. Well hello there Azeems, how you doing? Fine. Nice weather outside, don't you think? Don't you have some show to do? Oh, um, yeah, I guess I do. Hello, I'm Doge, and welcome to another edition of Doge News. Where we bring you the latest scoop on movies, games, and world events. Let's start off with some breaking news. Colonial Pipeline, the operator of the biggest gasoline pipeline in the United States, was hacked by a ransomware group named Darkside, which led to the pipeline shutting down. This resulted in the uptick in gas prices, as well as panic buying from customers, who resorted to filling up gasoline in plastic grocery bags. Colonial Pipeline has agreed to pay the ransom of $4.4 million to the hacking group. The hacking group defended itself by saying that it didn't mean to create problems, though President Joe Biden has suggested that he'll bring the hacking group to justice. In other news, a 12-story condo in Surfside, Florida collapsed on itself, with one reported to be dead, and 99 other people unaccounted for. Let's all hope that the people who are stuck in the condo are found and safe. One last bit of news for today. Kentaro Mira, most known for being the author of the genre-defining manga Berserk, passed away at the age of 54 due to an acute aortic dissection. Mira was praised for his talented and detailed art style, and has been an influence to many other artists who read his work, that of which being Berserk an epic dark fantasy tale that has spanned for more than 30 years, however, with Mira's passing, the story of Berserk has now been left unfinished, with many in the community debating whether or not to have the story be continued, or be left alone. Mira has left behind a great and influential legacy, and will be forever missed by his fans, and family. Well. That's all the time. What the hell? The ship stopped. Zeems, the ship just stopped. Yems, I know. Are you gonna fix it? Sorry, but I don't really feel like it. What? Zeems, you fix this ship right now. I'm in the mood. Damn it, Zeems, I'm the captain of this ship, and I command I'm you. Anymore. What? While you were filming your news show, we all grouped together and formed a union, and we all voted for a new captain. Wheatley, what the hell are you doing up there? You know what you are? Selfish. All you've done is boss me around. Well, now who's the boss? Who's the boss? It's me. Damn it, Wheatley. I swear to fucking God. Don't We need to talk. Ray, what's the meaning of this? Please listen, Doge. We have to stop Stuart from conquering the galaxy and destroying your planet. I thought I could have convinced you last night, but I guess I was mistaken. So that wasn't just a dream I had. That's why I saw him in the mirror. Why the hell would you do that to me? How much did you tell everyone? I told them everything I knew. Look. You can be mad at me all you want, but right now we need to do the right thing. Your father tried to save the rats from their exploitation, the least we can do is help them. Oh please, like my father really cared. He probably only did it so he could feel like a hero. All that bastard did was collect a bunch of useless space rocks. To hell with him, and to hell with it all. You and I both know that's not true. I don't care how many times you try to convince me. You're not going to change my mind. No. I can't. But maybe this will. I found this picture frame in your room. Give me that. First you get into my head, and next you're stealing from my room. How is this supposed to convince me? Look at the back. There's something hidden in there. A flash drive. 
There's something in that flash drive that you may want to see. How can I be sure that it's not one of your magic tricks? I assure you that it's not. And you expect me to believe... Just plug the damn thing in. Hello? Is this thing on? Captain's Log, Stardate, June 24, 2010. Ugh, he was always such a nerd. Today is my son's ninth birthday. I promised him that we would play a game of baseball, but I had other plans. You know, I don't like lying to my son. I don't like leaving him and my wife alone. I wish I could take them along with me, but if something happened to them, I just don't know how I would live with myself. All this time of me spending in space, I could be spending time with my family, but ever since that recession happened, money's been pretty tight. This is the only viable way I can support my family, other than maybe slaving away my time in some cubicle, and I'll be damned if I ever do that again. Dad? I didn't even have time to give him a present. But luckily, me and stuff made something special for him. It's a teddy bear I stitched together, and stuff helped me stuff it up as well. No pun intended. I even put in a little recorder inside, so that when he presses it, he can always hear my voice while I'm gone. Not a day goes by that I don't think about him. I just hope that Doge understands why I'm doing this when he's older. Though I can't really blame him if he ends up hating me. Maybe I deserve it. Stan, you done with that camera? I want you to see this. Almost. Doge, if you ever do come across this video, just remember that I'm always thinking about you, and that I'll always love you. Never forget that. Doge, I believe this is for you. I love you. Listen everyone, I'm sorry. I acted like a jerk to you all. I was angry and brash, and said things I didn't mean, especially to space balls. I'm afraid. Afraid that I can't stop Stuart, that I'm not strong enough to take him on. A captain should never be afraid, and I failed you all. You deserve a better captain than me. We're all afraid Doge. But we can't let our fear consume us. I've lost count on how many times I've died and all the times I was brought back. I still felt fear. But I still kept going. Stuart has given us all pain, and it's time that we give Stuart the pain that he's given us, but not without you. Not without all of us. But we'll die. Then let our deaths not be in vain. When we confront him, we'll hit him where it really hurts. Yems, let's do this. Count me in. Right, let's go! What's the worst that could happen? Ah, oh, what the hell? Why not? Let's teach that bastard a lesson. Ah! Huh. I thought that would stink on a bit longer. So, do you have anything in mind? Yes, I have. Dad. Please don't do this. I'm sorry Rusty, but I have no choice. You don't have to shut down the shop. Please listen. No Rusty, you listen to me. That rat stole our inventory, almost had you killed, and now I've sent Zeems and his friends to die. Dad, none of that was your fault. Oh who am I kidding? I couldn't save your mom, and now I've sent your brother to his death. I'm a horrible father. I don't even deserve to wear this hat. No. I believe you dreamt this. Zeems, you're alive. What happened? Wait a minute. Why is that rat here? It's a long story. Look, Stuart is about to destroy my planet, and we don't have much time. We need to know if you still have the EVA unit. That robot thing? Yeah, it's the only thing they didn't take, but it's not gonna do much if it does, eh? Where are you running off to? 
please stay back. What in the Sam hell are you doing? I don't know. But I'm hoping it works. What the hell just happened? Where'd Ray go? Up here. No way! Ray, are you in that? Yes. Yes I am. <coughs> Whoa. That's so cool. Took the words out of my mouth, kid. Zeems, ready the ship and tow the EVA unit up. Murphy, I promise that we'll get your stuff back. Wait. We're going as well. We wanna help you take down that rat bastard. Yeah. Very well then. We head for the Rat Kingdom. Let's end this once and for all.